This is BBC One in the South. Now the BBC News with Hugh Edwards and Tom Hepworth at 10 o'clock. Tonight at 10, five party leaders in the latest campaign debate with Labour and the SNP at loggerheads. There were vigorous exchanges on the NHS and immigration before the SNP issued a challenge to Labour. So tell me tonight, you know is it the case that you would rather see David Cameron go back into Downing Street than work with the SNP? No, the Surely that cannot no. be your position, Ed. I've fought Tories all my life. Unlike the SNP, which presaged a Tory government in 1979. Unlike your leader, Alex Salmond, who Ed. said vote Lib Dem in 2010, and we end up with a Ed. Lib Dem Tory coalition. I was and unlike you at this election, you fought Labour this all your life, Nicola. We I just have a don't chance buy it. to. Participants did not include David Cameron and Nick Clegg. We'll be tracking some of the instant responses to tonight's debate. I'll be bringing you live reaction to the debate from our audience of floating voters. We'll have more on the events of the day, which included a £1 million donation to UKIP from the owner of Express Newspapers. Also tonight, the politician Lord Janna will not face a trial on child sex abuse charges. For health reasons, police have condemned the decision. Detectives confirm that a body found on farmland near Glasgow is that of the missing student, Karen Buckley. And as some migrants are rescued from the Mediterranean, reports that more have drowned, crossing from North Africa. Here, supply and demand, the growing pressure on school places felt by parents in the south. And an area of Heathland the size of more than 40 football pitches is devastated by a major fire in Surrey. Good evening. Five party leaders have taken part in the BBC's election debate this evening at Westminster. Some of the most vigorous exchanges were on the issues of immigration and the economy, but there was evident tension between Labour and the Scottish National Party when Nicola Sturgeon challenged Ed Miliband to work together to keep David Cameron and the Conservatives out of Downing Street. Mr Cameron, who didn't take part, was accused by opponents of choosing not to defend his record in government. Our deputy political editor, James Landill, was following the exchanges. <laughs> 